네 안녕하세요 디스버디 대수입니다 자 오늘 볼 영상은요 제목부터가 특이합니다 You shouldn't come to Malaysia 왜 오지 말라고 하는 건지 혹시나 말레이시아에 대해서 안 좋은 이야기가 있는 건지 한번 살펴보겠습니다 Subscribe, like list of the reasons not to come to Malaysia is that if you're expecting it to be Singapore. So we oh. hear this a lot from expats. They're like, oh, you know, what's Malaysia like? And it's just different. It's, you know, if you want to say the most environment, entirely regulated. Like a Western country. Like a Western country. Singapore's a perfect place. But Singapore is not Malaysia oh. and Malaysia is not Singapore. Could they you? have That's different right. pros and cons. Both countries have pros and cons. You know, a lot of people think Singapore is a perfect country, but it has its pros. Is Malaysia is not Singapore. Singapore. You know, there are still go to some areas in Kuala Lumpur uh, and it's exactly the same as Singapore. Like KLCC, for yeah. instance, is very beautiful. It's, it's very clean, pristine. Then you can go 10 kilometers away and there's still open drains. It's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing. But if you come with the attitude, you walk it out of the airport and you go, oh, wow, this place is dirty and stuff like that. That's the oh, wrong no. attitude to have. Because because so, there's a lot of pros right. to Malaysia and there's a lot of reasons we prefer Malaysia over Singapore. But if you come thinking, oh, it's, Singapore's better than this because it's clean, don't no. come to Malaysia. Uh -huh. Stay in Singapore. Good completely job. different countries, even though they're on the same isle, uh, peninsula, yeah. they're completely different countries. And uh, the reason you shouldn't come to Malaysia is that if you're not willing to be patient, oh, you have to be so patient over here. Malaysia is a lot we like other South Asian countries. There's a certain pace and a certain speed that Malaysians move at. The reason we bring this up is we see a lot of people that visit Malaysia and they just treat Malaysians disrespectfully by getting aggressive and angry and upset because they're waiting in line at say a bank over here people just go with the flow if you have to wait 20 minutes at the bank you have to wait 20 minutes at the bank if you have to wait an hour oh. at a government office you have to wait there's no reason to get upset we've seen that in a lot of our videos we've gotten upset and Malaysians are like why are you getting upset and it's, oh. it is what it is if you are not willing to wait for things and you're not patient then don't come to Malaysia if you're one of these people that just like parties hard you know you go to Khao San Road in Thailand or Bogos Street in uh, the mm. Philippines where it's just rows and rows of bars and you're just popping between bars and chasing girls and things like that then really Malaysia is not for you there's not oh. that kind of scene in Malaysia and you're always better off going to like a Thailand Philippine or the Philippines Malaysia. go and find somewhere else like there is plenty of other places but if you want to have a beer and have a good time oh. you can still come to Malaysia you're oh. just not going to get that same experience that you would going to Thailand or yeah. going to you know the Philippines whatever it is that you want you're probably not going to find it here yeah like your full moon parties and things like that that's what top countries like Thailand are for and countries like the Philippines Malaysia yes it's a, it's more of a family friendly destination family it's friendly more laid back. want to have a Malaysia. party but it's a laid back party it's not full on music and drinking and stuff like that yes it's drinking yes they love to sing and have their karaoke but it's not a nightclub scene yeah, oh, yeah oh, so there is a lot of nightclubs and there is a lot of places to go out but yeah if you're looking for that party Khao San Road where it's just bar 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 oh. bar drink 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 and yeah. party with girls and things like that then I wouldn't come to Malaysia if you're a hothead or you get angry really quickly and that kind of ties into the previous topic we just spoke about or a, an aggressive person or you get angry really quickly or you come to flame really quickly mm. then Malaysia is not the right country for you and the reason for that is in Southeast Asian countries and Malaysia is no exception to this people are really big on a thing called face and so if you embarrass someone publicly uh, in a country like Malaysia by getting angry at them over something maybe they didn't control or they didn't do that the natural reaction is to fight back so like in Western countries in Australia people uh -huh. will drive along and there'll be a lot of road rage people will be honking <laughs> Each other. You don't see much bang, 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 bang. Yeah, People don't really even beat their horns at each other. Everything just moves in nicely and they all just interact around each other. People have learned that why get angry about it? It just oh. sort of is what it is. I highly suggest you do not come to Malaysia if you have the wrong attitude and you get angry really easy. Yes, there's a time and place to get angry. And there's definitely things that we've seen in Malaysia that get me upset or get yep. frustrated. Yep. Uh, but I just sort of sit there and go, no one else is upset and angry about it. <laughs> 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 Have like that, no, the person, no control. I've seen that when we've been out in tours and things like that, and there's been Westerners, and they're getting angry at the, the ferry driver, for instance, or for damaging a bag. And it's like, yeah. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed as a Westerner. Yeah. 
when I watch a Westerner get angry over that because it's like, actually, when you get angry at the poor dude, he's just doing his job. He's the one picking up your 20 kilo the lung. He's like, you could have done it. Yes. It's better to just go with the flow like a lot of Malaysians do, a lot of Southeast Asians do. Just go with the flow. And uh, if you do get angry and you're hot headed and you're aggressive, don't come to Malaysia. It's just getting progressively sweaty. If you don't like the heat, don't come to Malaysia. And, uh, you know, I have a pretty good tolerance to heat. I actually don't mind it, but. You know, we've met people. We are right near the equator. Like literally where we're standing, I think we Googled it this morning. We're 170 Ks from the equator, right? It's hot. It's just hot. You know, you're not gonna get a winter in Malaysia the same way you would get in say Australia. Mm. Just gonna get used to the fact that it's hot and sometimes hot. it's a dry heat, sometimes it's a really wet heat, but it's hot. If you don't hot. like the heat, hot. or you don't like to be sweaty, don't come to Malaysia. <laughs> <音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音><音